Hello students, in this video we'll use vectors to find the formula for the reflection of one vector over another vector. So we're talking about reflections in this video. Okay. And so if I'm given a vector A over here, here's my vector A, and let's say that here's a vector over here B, there's my vector B. I would like to reflect A over B. Of course, I've made B horizontal here to make the reflection look easier, right? So what would the reflection be? So the reflection is going to be this vector right down over here. So here's my reflection vector. You can easily imagine what it's look like. It's going to look just like this. So that vector over there is going to be my reflection vector R, right? So this is the reflection of A over B. Okay? So what's the key idea behind the reflection? The key idea behind the reflection is that if I draw this perpendicular right over here, if I draw this vector right over there, let's call that vector over here, uh, let's call that vector over here C, then that vector over here C, then this vector over here has to be the vector negative C. So that's going to be the vector negative C pointing the exact opposite direction. Okay? So I need to find a formula for this vector C where it makes it's perpendicular. Well, we can easily do that using vector projections, right? So this vector over here, if I look at the vector that goes from this origin point over here, right over here, this vector right there, what is that vector over here? That's the projection, right? That's the projection of A onto B. So what's the projection of A onto B? Recall that the projection of A onto B is given by a dot b over the length of b squared in the direction of b, okay? Well, that's great because what does this vector over here, c, have to be? If that's what the projection is, I know the projection plus c is equal to a. So this vector over here, c, has to be a minus that projection. So over here, what we'll have is we'll have c has to be what? It has to be a minus the projection of a onto b because this vector over here, this projection, plus this vector gives me the vector a. So it's going to be a minus a dot b over the length of b squared in the direction of b. That's what the vector c is. Therefore, I have a formula for negative c. It's going to be the opposite of this thing over here. So it's going to be a dot b over the length of b squared in the direction of b minus a. Okay? And so now what do we know? We know this reflection vector is the sum of these vectors over here, right? So I'm going to have to add these vectors over here together. So I'm going to have this vector over here, projection of a onto b, plus this vector negative c. So what can I say? I can say this vector over here, projection, plus this vector over here, gives me the vector r. So it's r equal to, so hence r, r is projection of what? It's projection of a onto b minus this c over here, minus c. Now let's put it all together. So this is going to be what? This is going to be a dot b over the length of b squared in the direction of b, and I have to add on one more of these things. So plus the same thing, a dot b over the length of b squared, b, and then minus a, of course, minus a. And so therefore we have our formula for r. What's our formula for r? Our formula for r is going to be two copies of this, so twice a, b, over the length of b squared in the direction of b, minus a. And there's the formula for our reflection vector. Now, as a word of warning, you might see in some textbooks that this is going to be, this 2 is negative and that a is positive. Now, the reason that happens is that that's the physical reflection. So, of course, how do I think about the physical reflection? The physical reflection, or in physics, for in physics, you replace replace A with negative A. Because in physics, what happens, you have a ray, and the ray comes in like this, and then reflects over that vector B and gives you this reflection vector over here. So if you did it with negative A, if I replaced A with negative A, what would happen to this formula? This would become positive, and this would become negative. So if you want to use the physics definition of reflection, you have to flip the signs over here, because in physics, the reflection angle comes in and it reflects off the line. Where in mathematics, I'm just thinking of a pure mathematical reflection. So there's a slight difference in the mathematical and physical versions of reflections, but just remember that all you have to do in the formulas is just change the A to negative A, and you'll get the exact, you'll be able to convert from one to the other. Thank you very much.